and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Doki Doki Pure Smile. This one's Candyman Bob Mob, aka Doc Wildcard. <coughs> Saving, in this case, Monica. It's already Sunday. It's been getting increasingly, I've been getting increasingly anxious about Monica's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll be in a different movie, which is the two of us. She does have an almost hidden side of her that she shows on occasion. Only to me as well, for the most part. Sarah not only told me it's... Recently, my kid acts like that. I just know, I just don't know what to think about that. During the week, my kid texted me a lot. She acts like her usual quote present self in their conversations. And I don't think I've seen anything other than that side of her. Yourself, well. <coughs> Maybe it's because she can think about the words she's going to send rather than saying them in real time. Sorry hasn't lit up on me either. Even though she can't get, clean her own room, she told me that I better make it mine look nice for Monica. Now I started thinking nothing was actually going to happen. After all, the rest of the pub was going to be no more than hop and skip away. It all, it'll be just like the club. Only split into two houses, of course. Time flies by quickly as I anxiously wait her arrival. Before I know it, I get a text from Monica telling me she's right outside the front door. Without delay, I open the door and run the lyric. Hey there, Bob the Mob! Close the door behind her as Monica takes off her shoes. Yeah, that's a, um,. Well, I've come to understand since this takes place in Japan, that's the thing in Japan. They uh, they take off their shoes when entering a household for some reason. Good day so far. Yep. Bag was a little heavy though. You're still in the uniform? Well, I actually like wearing it, so... Oh, here. Off my hand to see it ends be the bag. It's actually kind of... <laughs> Nothing's heavy for me. What's in here, anyway? There's paper and some tools like scissors. I see. Well, let's go to the printer. Take my cup to my room. I can see her glancing around her curiously, which makes me feel anxious. Wow, it's really clean. It'd be embarrassing if I let my room be a mess while someone was sober, so I made it. So I cleaned it. Mm, okay. And more importantly, I cleaned it. What, what kind of sensitive things? What's that supposed to mean? Jeez. Anyway, let's get started. I open up the bag and take out a small plastic box. 
That's the scissors and stapler box. Got it. I glanced down at, I placed it down on the table before taking out an unusual stack, an unused stack of white cardstock. What is wrong with my eyes today? Hmm, this should fit into the printer. I forgot to make the pamphlets here to do do that already. Oh, um, let me have the bag, please. And Monica the bag. She starts going through it before pulling out a small thumb drive. I'm terribly help hopeless with computers, but one of the teachers was willing to help me out. Who uses the term neat in this day and age? My hand out. My puts the drug into my hand and fingers slightly brushing against my hand for a moment. Anyway, um, I'll get this printed out. Making a hasty retreat to my computer, I turn it on and plug the thumb drive in. There we go. Right, better get the. Hmm? Oh. Oops, sorry. I turn around my room. As I turn my chair around while mumbling to myself, I realize Mike was right behind me, putting my head roughly level with her. Uh, um, I need to replace the paper with the cardboard. Sorry. Let me get that for you. Okay. I reached down and pulled it on the paper tray before taking out the paper that was already in there. Here you go. Thanks. I don't do anything gingerly. I'm a classic red, white, and blue blooded Philly son. I don't do jack sh squat gingerly. Jeez. Afterwards, I found the file and opened it up to the screen. Wow, you were really good at computers. This is basic stuff, though. <laughs> I'm not that good. I'm not at all good with technology myself. I tried to code one time, you know? It's gonna lead to a fourth wall breaking or at least tapping thing. Sounds like it. You can see in the original game had screwed with the coding. Oh? No? I'm not very good at that though, so a lot of unexpected things happen. Yeah, this is kind of tapping in the fourth wall. Why it happened in the original game. Ah. Anyway, how many copies do you want? I think this should be enough. Alright, now let's see. These are two pages. Don't print them double-sided, right? No, um, do print them double-sided. There's a blank page for the second one, so the cover page won't have anything else on it. Haha, <laughs> language can be such a confusing thing sometimes though. Saying no to a no, sometimes it can be interpreted in the conversation as a yes. So you have to pay attention. Haha. <laughs> Still, you're a lot cleaner at home than I am. Well, it might be that you have cleaned, you cleaned before I came over. That might be it. It's usually messier than this. Okay. 
Can I get you anything to drink? Hmm? Oh, maybe a bit of water. Okay, I'll be right back. I leave the room and head down to the stairs, going straight for the kitchen. Suffer around the cabinets, eventually finding decent sized glass. Fill the wire and start going back to my room. I left my cobalt. Indeed, that's what I was thinking the entire time. Leaving someone in a room with your computer is not a good idea. <laughs> this, this guy is supposed to represent me. Being the total dumbass. Oh. I try not to make my footsteps carry as I go back to my room. Okay, I'm back. Call as I enter the room, find her near the bookshelf. Uh, oh, Pop Mob, hello. I'm sorry. She's just the fairy tale in her hands and puts it back on the shelf. In case you've forgotten, ladies and gentlemen, fairy tale is the name of the one manga that is actually worth reading, at least to me. It's spelled Tango Alpha India Lima in this case, which is the military phonetics for T A I L. Because the anime is full of comedy and therefore worth watching, even though it's anime. I got curious about what kind of manga you like to read, so, um, you know, as soon as I, um, you know, so I can get a better idea of what you like. That one was just a curiosity buy. I have got one volume since people kept talking about it. And Anyway, here's your water. Oh, thank you. I look at the printer to see that it's no longer putting out sheets. Okay, get the topic change here. The printer's done as well. Mm hmm. I can put the glass down after finishing it. Out the printed pamphlets, putting them down onto the table, taking a seat. Monica? Hmm? Something wrong? Even though there'd be more space on the other side of the table, she came over and sat down next to me. No, nothing's wrong. Anyway, how do you we make these pamphlets? Oh, it's actually very easy. Let me show you. If Marcus shows me how she wants the pamphlets made, the original. Excuse me. With the original, with diagonal. Corners and where it's staple. The end product is that all four of our poems nearly. Is all of our poems nearly tucked in between a nice cover page. Wow, these look fancy. Do they? Yeah, I think I combined. Think about them with everyone else's work, they'll impress anyone who comes by. I hope so. Of course, my poem reading is probably going to. Dude, have some self confidence. Seriously. Oh, don't think so low of yourself, Bob. Well, see, Micah knows. 
for once she's right. I'm sure it'll do just fine. He's hoping for that too. <laughs> I'll be rooting for you. Thanks. Anyway, let's get this done. With that, we go back. To, we get back to work here in silence. Okay, there's something wrong. No. It's just, it's not just something. It's everything. Everything is wrong. It shouldn't even be. Aka turns to me, then puts her hands on my shoulders. I don't know if this is going to work, but I guess this is all that's left to do. After all, things have gone off script already. Here we go, breaking the fourth wall. So it might possibly work. Maybe he wasn't so empty after all either. He? Dude, that's supposed to be me. Mob, mob, listen to me. You always seem to forget every time this thing starts, so I'm going to say it out loud for you here. First, tell me what you know of last year. You're in the same class. I'm um, sorry, we're still working up late. Waking up late. Talk to me about what we did for the festival as well. Then two years before, middle school. I really can't remember anything from before high school. Deep pang of worry just suddenly shoots through me. Hey Bob, does it ever feel like you've done this before? Coming to the literature club, meeting everyone. And it's pretty interesting too, you always seem to have a response prepared for every situation. Every single time. Without fail, almost like time stops so you can make a decision. Go with me, okay? I'm going to sound a little crazy. Yeah, your script must be extremely broken. This is officially breaking the fourth wall. What did you plan for this too? Yeah, here we go. I knew this day would come. Bob and Bob, all of us are trapped inside of a game. An incredibly tacky romance game. I don't know if you'll believe me, but it's true. I used to be able to edit files in it, but my power was taken away by someone. Now I'm forced to sit on the sidelines, unable to change things. Even if everyone's happy now, it still doesn't change anything in the end. What happened still happened. No one can change that now. Ah, I get it. I see you weren't going for the other, going after the other girls. I can't believe it's taken me this long for me to notice. This is the Malika route, isn't it? So if I just sit here and let you have the wheel, my life will improve somehow? Indeed, that's what I've been hoping. 
So I don't think it can be improved. We're both still stuck here in this romance game. And I still I can't change anything anymore. Not that it means anything. Even if I could change things, it doesn't change the fact that this is still a modification. Sort of dream if you will. It won't change what actually happened even if the files were modified here. So it means nothing. Just load your game, okay? Go play with the other girls. You seem much happy with them anyway. I don't want to get in the way of your happiness. I want you to be happy too. They won't know any better anyway. It means nothing in the end, but as long as long as you're happy, that's fine. Haha. <laughs> There's no response because you didn't have any lines programmed for this, did you? Well, I guess that means I'll have to load an old save. You'll have to load an old save anyway. Maybe we just weren't meant to be. Anyway, Bob, sorry for rambling like that. It's getting way too difficult to hold in. That's not like me, is it? Shouldn't be, is it? You can ignore everything I said, it probably doesn't mean anything to you anyway. Indeed, because I hate Ken that everyone gets out alive and happy. Let's just finish these pamphlets, okay? R right. Oh. Haha. <laughs> right. Let's just get that. Let's. Let's get the. The. We still have a lot of work to do. Resume working on the plane foots. I could see it was fairly distant, I guess. It has to do with the outburst earlier. And on that rather confusing note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end this particular chapter. If you dig what I'm doing, please consider subscribing. I will sub back fairly well, ladies and gentlemen.